Hey guys, so I just want to talk about a few new uh, skincare releases that have just come out in the last couple days. So uh, I don't, I didn't pick any of them up, but there's a couple I probably will pick up here. But uh, really quick, Estee Lauder finally did something right. This Nutritious Radiant Essence Lotion is really nice. They also have a mask and a cleanser, and they're all fragrance-free, all three of those. So anyway, I just picked this one up because I liked it, but anyway... Yeah, it seems nice and no scent to it. And the other thing I picked up is the Too Faced Healthy Glow Foundation, which has terrible reviews. And I actually really like it. I'm wearing it right now. I got the shade Nude, and I like it. I know a lot of people were saying it uh, clings to dry patches and things like that, and I didn't have that experience at all. So, uh, anyway, so far I like it. Because I'm still in my search to replace the Dr. Jar BB Cream, which I love, but they discontinued it and changed it to something else, which is very similar, but... I still keep thinking, maybe I should find something else. Anyway, okay, so a few new releases. So uh, first up, <coughs> excuse me, Pharmacy released a Brighten Up 3% Tranexamic Acid uh, Toner, which would be a nice product. Uh, they have a toner currently, which has had a little bit of fragrance in it. So I was very excited. Dark Spot Toner with Islaic Acid and PHA. And so I go to look at the ingredients of it. It's gonna be $34. Here's the picture of it. Terrible picture. It's going to be $34 for four ounces, so it's kind of expensive. If I recall, their other toner was like $29 or something. But anyway, so I've got glucolactolone, tranexamic acid, azelaic acid, azorbic acid. Yay, I'm all in. And then I keep reading, and then I see bitter orange fruit extract, citrus aronium sensus peel extract, tangerine fruit extract, uh... So I'm a little bit leery of it. Uh, I'm not a big bitter orange or peel or tangerine fan in my skincare. I'm a big orange fan, but not in my skincare. And then it's got some humectants in there, fructose, glucose, I don't know. I have something to return at Sephora, or not Sephora, at Express. So I might wander over to Sephora after. And if they have it, I'm going to see if it has a scent that's noticeable. Because sometimes if it had like bitter fruit oil in it, then I'd know it would be very strong. But with the ex extracts, you never really know. So I'm going to wander over there today and see if they have it in the store and see if I can sniff it. And then if it has no scent, I might pick it up. So anyway, 34 still a lot for four ounces though. But anyway, there we go. Okay, next up, Drunk Elephant is releasing their fourth eye cream. It's going to be their A Shaba Complex Eye Serum. Does anybody really need four eye creams, let alone one brand? Are they just out of ideas? Or what? They could have just came out with a copper peptide serum, and I'd been more excited about that. So they released this eye cream, which somehow already has five-star review. I'm not quite sure how, but anyway, it's probably somebody, five stars because I'm really excited about it. So I'm leaving my review of something I haven't tried yet because I'm really excited about it. So it's got copper tripeptides in there, caffeine, black tea ferment, mango, uh, then several peptides. I mean, the ingredient list doesn't look terrible, but for an eye cream, um, I don't really need a new eye cream. I like the one I use, if I can find it. Well, anyway. I like the one I use, which is in here. Hang on. This one. I love this one. The Cosrx Snail Peptide Eye Cream. So, uh, thankfully, I can pass on this eye cream because I think it's a significant amount of money. I think it was like 50 some dollars. So, anyway, there we go. It also has a gentle amount of vegan retinol. So, if you need a good retinol eye cream, I, there's just so many other ones. And I'll be reviewing the Beauty of Josen one next week, which in my opinion is like one one-tenth of the price and pretty darn good too. So, Drunk Elephant must be out of ideas, I guess. Okay, on to the next one, the Ordinary. 2% Aloe NAG 2% Solution. So somebody posted this on Reddit, buy or skip. This is the most boring product. Um... And I think they're charging like $19 for it. So it's just a soothing serum with those two ingredients as the main ingredients, which 2% of each of them. Um, aloe, a lot of times you can buy aloe really cheap, like very affordably. The Isn't Tree one, I just finished. I mean, I don't know. This stuff, you can get 
five ounces of it and it's like $13 for the whole bottle and it's gigantic. So this one from The Ordinary is an easy pass. I, they're seeming to grasp at straws. I mean, I, I can't really think of anybody that can really benefit from a 2% aloe and 2% uh, uh, NAG solution. So uh, the NAG is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation and redness and things like that. But anyway, for 20 bucks, I, that's just... It seems to be an extra product I don't necessarily need. And if I want a soothing serum, the one I love is the Stressless from Geek and Gorgeous. So I don't really need another one. Uh, okay. The I'm From brand is releasing a licorice line, a licorice soothing ampule, licorice calming, calming cream, and then a licorice cleanser, uh, which all look exciting. Although they use a different type of licorice than I'm used to. They're using... Uh, Glyris Hiza Rolanenis licorice, which is a different type of licorice than the one you're use, usually seeing. Um, so there's a little bit of research on that version showing it may help just like the other kind of licorice root, but it doesn't have nearly as much research as the other kind. Uh, what else do we have in here? Panthenol, betaine. Yeah, and so that's the ampule. The cream is very similar. It also has, uh, let's see... Althea Rosia flower extract, and then it also contains the other version of licorice in the calming cream. So it contains both those different types of licorice, as well as some ceramides. So that, that seems interesting. Might be worth a try. I guess we'll see. Maybe when it goes on sale, I still haven't picked up all of their mushroom line because it's, I don't know, they're like 26, 28 bucks. So I picked up the ampule, but not the cream yet, and I still haven't had a chance to try it out. And then last but not least, Lancome is releasing a Hydrazen licorice, not licorice, salicylic acid cream, moisturizing gel cream in their Hydrazen, the pink line. So it's $57. And in here we've got uh, alcohol denatured, pretty high up. Uh, we've got some amino acids, amatocaside, and then most of the good stuff comes after phenoxethanol in this one, as well as a heck of a lot of fragrance. So for 60 bucks. That one was an easy pass. And then uh, Skin Fix came out with their new eye, newest eye cream. We're all about eye creams. There's so many new ones. You to the People has an eye cream coming out or that just came out. I don't know. Eye cream madness. It's just everywhere. And I just, once you find a good one, I just don't find a need to really want them. I don't even want to try any other ones because I love this one so much. But anyway, there we go for some new goodies. Uh, most of these I probably won't be buying, but maybe I'll check out the... Uh, the uh, one from pharmacy. So um, anyway, interested hearing from you guys. If you have any goodies you're eyeing or checking out, uh, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye guys.